Well, a very good afternoon. I'm down here in Thurles. Joining me now is Henry de Bromhead ahead of the big weekend at Navin. It's the Labrooks, Liz Mullen Hurdle and Labrooks for a tree of chase. And Henry de Bromhead looks like he's going to be well represented in both their feature events at Navin on Sunday coming up. Henry, firstly, horses are in fantastic order. Another treble at uh, Nace on Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was super. Um, yeah, delighted they're running really well. And, uh, um, yeah, you know, just try and keep it all going. Henry, some lovely horses to look forward to for, for the season. You've introduced some nice novice hurdlers and a couple of nice bumper horses to go to war with over hurdles from last season as well. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Um, Sizing John was really nice the other day um, over her in his maiden hurdle. He's a horse we've always liked. Um, um, I think Dermot Wells' horse made all the four-year-olds uh, look a bit um, ordinary in Punchestown that day, but I mean, he was just an exception. Uh, forgotten rules. So, uh, yeah, we've always liked our lads and um, He's a big, scopy, chasing type of horse. Um, a sizing network who won on, on Tuesday in Ferry House. He, he's a nice horse as well. And, uh, yeah, the, the novice chasers, Granite or, and Moscow Manon um, and Shanahan's turn. Yeah, so delighted with all of them. I was yeah. very impressed how sizing Granite jumped for his first run over fence. He was brilliant, wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. He's he's always been a real chaser, you know. Like yeah, uh, he he showed a bit as a four-year-old, and then he kind of fell away. And he's such a big horse. Um, we kind of uh, Alan and Fairness said just leave him off, so we left him off. Brought him back last year. He had a very light season hurdling. He had only probably four or five runs, um, and uh, always hoped, you know, that that might happen. You know, over hurdles, he had a stone to find with um, Desi's horse. So. Yeah, with Lieutenant Colonel. So, yeah, it was good. The three down the back just stand out in my mind. You know, he just pinged those and it really put him into a nice position. Is he an out-and-out -out two miler? He looks that way. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I thought I, I always thought he'd stay, you know, and I went to Punchestown for the two and a half mile conditions hurdle that Levant and Tan won. And I thought we were kind of four or five to one in the batting. I thought he had a re real good chance. He'd just be, he'd beaten Desert Moor Stream in a maiden over two in Goran. And uh, he just stopped. He stopped at 2-1, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I think we'll stick to two for the moment anyhow, yeah. OK, moving ahead to the weekend. Big weekend at uh, Navin, obviously, the Labrooks, Liz Mullen hurdle and Labrooks for Tria. You have uh, Darwin's Fox in uh, the Liz Mullen hurdle. Yeah, he's had a great summer. Um, he, um, he won two hurdles. He won a two and a half mile in Killarney there fairly impressively at the start of the summer. Then he was placed in a, in a couple of graded hurdles at uh, Tipperary. Uh, he was just beaten by Simon on one day there in July. And uh, he won another 2-2 two -two in Cork. So I just wanted to see him once over in a good race over two and a half. I've, I've always sort of, up until this year, campaigned him over two, but he definitely stayed well. So probably going in a, a little bit at the deep end, side pour, and there's a few in it there, Petoni. But sure, we'll give it a go and, and see. Would you be a little bit worried about the ground him as well? Because he, he does like to have a sound underfoot, con underfoot conditions, doesn't he? Yeah, you know, like he, having said that, he, he won his bumper on, on heavy ground in Punchestown. I mean, he was campaigned as a winter horse up until last summer. I'd say he's, do you know what? I'd say he's neither extreme, so long as it, you know, hopefully, I don't think he's a horse I'd be running in sort of January, February time. Hopefully this sort of change in ground w will still be okay. But, but that would be a, a concern. You'd have loved it to be just yielding ground, you know? know um, but uh, he, he also he won a he won a listed hurdle at Nace uh, on heavy ground in January as well so so we'll see we'll see will you keep stick him to keep him over hurdles sorry I know you got him handicapped over fences he ran some good races over fences but you haven't I don't think he's run over fences in nearly a year will you will you stick to hurdles with him yeah, but for this, anyhow, and we'll see then. Like he's rated 135 over fences, so he, he's he's off a, a reasonable mark. Um, he, he like he won a grade, he won that grade three in Roscommon, the novice chase, very impressively one day. So um, he, he's he's a fair horse over fences. He just did so well over hurdles. We decided we'd keep him there, you know. But he's so much toe. He, he, he's probably a horse that I always thought was going to be a real high class horse since uh, since he won his bumper or before he won his bumper and you know, he's 140 he's, he's a well above average but I just want to see over over two and a half could he be what I thought thought always hoped he would be well, please God he will that's the Liz Mullen hurdle the other feature event is the uh, Labrooks for three of course Dace Hotel second in the race last year to Fleming Star and special tiara as well 
Yeah, um, it's special. Tiara, uh, we brought back early this summer because he's a good ground horse. He had a super run in Killarney on the flat, um, and then he was very disappointing. Um, we've had to tweak a few things with him. We feel we have him right again. Um, he's he's actually best in, in the race uh, on, on official ratings. Um, so yeah, looking forward to a good run. He 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 schooled really well the other day, um, and he seems back to his his best form. You know, he was third to Sardar Gruji in Sandown there in the celebration. In the cel it? yeah, is it the celebration? And he chain? wasn't beaten all that far, right? No, he wasn't. Uh, he has some savage runs. He was third in the Schlower Chase this time last year in Cheltenham behind Sardar Gruji and. Um, Kid Cassidy. I Kid think. Cassidy, yeah, very impressive. <laughs> and uh, um, so his form is rock solid, you know. But he just he wasn't right for his la his, pre his last couple of runs. So hope we have him back right again. He seems to be so hoping for a good run. Um, Day's Hotel is a real winter two mile horse. We tried a few different things. We tried him over further on better. We tried him up in Grade One and last year and and neither worked so i think he's a real good you know he's a real consistent good two mile chaser on on um, a grade two kind of horse on heavy ground you know the softer the ground the better his chance so um first run back he's going to improve first he has the hilly way and and then probably the tight cottage and then the paddy power chase at nace there they'd be his kind of ones through the season so we'll see. Yeah, they're both there hoping for good runs. And special TR, you're talking about Days Hotel, those bottomless grounds. Special TR is the opposite, isn't he? Yeah, he's probably more, he's better on better. He won his grade one in entry on goodish ground. But like in the celebration, he proved to handle that soft ground behind side. So he's proved it on numerous occasions. He's probably just, he's probably better. It probably suits his style of racing, the better ground. Um, but uh, yeah, looking forward to good runs out of both of them. And would he be campaigned? Would this, he won't have too many runs during the winter when the ground gets proper. Winter ground would. Cheltenham, the likes of the Queen Mother again, be his main target. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how um, how it all unfolds. You know, three years ago the ground was nearly quick in Leopardstown. You know, at Christmas. So we'll just see how it all unfolds. Um, uh, and you know, you have the option of England as well. You know, last year was freaky. Like Nace or Ascot was heavy when uh, we were thinking about going for the race after Christmas. Kempton was heavy at Christmas. You know, so, so there's, plen there's plenty of options if you, if you had a sort of normal um, winter. Um, but uh, yeah, ultimately, uh, yeah, we want to go back to the champion chase. They, you know, he didn't run, he ran well. He was only beaten 12 or 14 lengths in the race last year. Um, I think, you know, the first, uh, our first two w with a couple of others were probably going a try too fast, possibly <laughs> it looked like. So, you know, there's loads of things we can, uh, we can tweak but just want to get him back on track yeah. and Henry before we go good supporting hard at Navin on Sunday as well to get the two feature events uh, will you have a couple of entries in beginners chase in that yeah we've sizing Cadelco and Vicomte de Noye in the um, two mile beginners chase um, I'd say we'll run Vicomte de Noye he's just joined us he's a nice horse he jumps really well he had some very good form as a four year old kind of tailed off a little bit um, uh, I think he had a, f a few issues with his wind so I think they, they sort of dealt with that and uh, anything we've done with him he seems nice but um, you know it's first run over fences uh, and we'll see how we go well, one of the great characteristics about a Henry de Bromhead horse over fence his first time out is how well they jump. I don't want to put the mocklers on him oh, now, yeah, but cultural, it is a yeah. trademark of your horse. You obviously do a lot of schooling at home. With them. Yeah, we do, you know, and, and try and keep them as, as right as we can. Unfortunately, uh, Salt Mills Blackie in the first didn't, didn't keep that going, but um, hopefully he'll be okay. But, um, yeah, like, you know, if, if, if you don't jump, you're not going to win anyhow, you know, so that's, <laughs> that's one thing for sure, you know. So, um, so we really focus on that, and, yeah, we have got a reputation for it which is good it's nice nice to have it yeah, long may I continue Henry thanks for having a word with us today and best of luck at Navin on Sunday thanks very much